It has been a month since St. John Fisher College started testing students and staff for COVID-19 on a weekly basis. The process run by faculty and staff requires a lot of hard work and now students say it is paying off as Eric Atacost reports. Michael Lilholt, president of Student Government Association, says campus life has come a long way since the fall. Since February, two rapid testing sites on campus, one drive through and one walk through, test up to 3,000 students and staff a week. And so we understand that that's a large percentage of the student body to get through. So it's really exciting to see the testing center um, being able to operate in the capacity. Ian Clank, senator with Student Government Association, says the process takes no more than five minutes. It's fast, smooth, but it takes a village to pull it off. A combination of faculty, staff, Work study students and nursing students all volunteer. With February bringing cold temperatures and snow, the process has had its challenges. It's really hard not to take a step back and appreciate that goal, as well as the selflessness that our faculty and staff have shown in you know adjusting their work schedules and, and just doing their best to keep us safe. The Student Government Association issued a proclamation showing support for faculty and staff, highlighting how the process has compelled other colleges across the country to enhance their protocols and has helped keep in-person learning. And with warmer weather approaching, the two say the atmosphere at school comes alive more with each day. It's noticeable. There's a lot more engagement in events this semester. Um, we're starting to see a lot more outdoor activities with the weather getting nice. To the sense of hope and the sense that we are moving we are taking steps to move out of this pandemic, even though they're slow steps. Reporting, Ericetta Cost, News 8. All right, thank you, Ericetta. We are told many students at St. John Fisher have also received both doses of the vaccine because so many of them have jobs that work with children or seniors.